This is a reading and a healing. The topic is the divine feminine is releasing toxic wounds. The wounds are specifically around inner child wounds where we were programmed, the divine feminine was programmed to believe that she is somehow imperfect, unlovable, not beautiful. It doesn't matter what body you are. It doesn't matter which side because we both have feminine and masculine, but there's this deep punishment that's been coming towards the feminine. The divine feminine is releasing these toxic wounds now. She is letting go of worshiping a very toxic feminine energy. We have to honor Kali. She's part of the archetypes. She is the murderess. She is the, the killer, the destroyer. She is an important part of life, yet what has been happening is we have gotten too far with the Kali and codes. We've been destroying ourselves. We've been allowing Kali to come in in a negative, ineffective way where we've been putting ourselves down and putting our light down. Now we're flipping it around. So we're allowing Kali and her sword and her power to scare off the demons, to scare off the oppressors. And we are looking in the mirror and saying, I love myself. I am good enough, I'm God, goddess enough, so I'm gonna use my Kali for good, and I'm gonna kick out anybody who's breaking my boundaries, any energies that have been molesting me, that have been programming me. The Divine Feminine has come back to her pure essence, and the wounding comes from, I'm not good enough, I'll never have the love that I want, but if I try my very best to make this outside toxic shame culture, this person, this beloved, this father, this church, if I somehow please them, then I will be enlightened. I will then be accepted. I will then find self-love. So the divine feminine has gotten to the core of herself and realized, heck no, that is not happening. I'm not falling for that trick. I love myself. I've taken off all the masks. I've let go of my ego. I've been beaten down to the ground so I can reroot back into my sacred sanctuary. So the divine feminine is rising back up in her power. And this is an exciting time because at the same time that she's rising quickly in her power, there's this ancient war that's been battling and she is rising up at this moment of this world war number uno, dos, tres. We are here in the middle of the spiritual battle and the medicine that she brings is so needed and it's her medicine which is love the feminine naturally loves and nourishes it can heal from the war and also she can heal and prevent the world war the nuclear energy comes in as new clear energy instead of the old toxic wounding that we've been holding inside as the feminine light keepers were coming out and we're coming back together. So what I'm seeing a lot in my community is sister wounds being healed, women coming together saying, we're in this together, I love you. I see divine feminines embracing who they are, embracing their sagging breasts or their cellulite or their imperfect skin with acne. And instead of masking it all, hiding it all, trying to fit in, they're like, Bring it on, I am beautiful, I am who I am. And even if it's, you know, like the, the desert that has cracks in it and I have wrinkles, it's a beautiful form of nature and we are all one. One of the biggest medicines the divine feminine and women especially can use to heal that perfectionism, that shame, that self punishment, so that we can call in what we really want, which is opportunities and love and, social lives that mirror our best selves and who we authentically are to heal that core wound, we've got to come together from oneness. Letting go of female competition, letting go of trying to shoot other people down, letting go of trying to please a man, trying to get love by being hot or being smart or being successful, instead seeing each other for who we truly are. And there is trauma, there are old shards, there are still stutters in her voice, there are still imperfections. She's getting to a point in her life where she's like, am I, am I too late to, to meet this deadline? Can I make this shift? Can I heal the planet? Are my children all traumatized? And that is the style of the feminine. We are muddy, we are messy, we are watery, we are nature. It's not meant to be perfect little boxes. That's the masculine. The masculine is like, pure ice <laughs> crystals and the feminine form of that is the more steamy and gassy and watery and moving.
So embrace your beauty sister, embrace it brother with your divine feminine energy. You are perfect. We are clearing old patterns. We're releasing toxic shame. It makes it so much more fun, so much e easier to align with your twin flame and to really embrace true intimacy as well as create the new earth from that grounded space. Thank you for watching this video. I have been I would say more online than before in my own life and more offline after having this YouTube channel for pretty much 10 years now. I think I started in 11, 11, 11 was like, I remember doing videos right around that time. So it's been over 10 years and I am excited to be back and alive. I'll be making more videos. I have had some really deep inner journeys feeling like my voice wasn't, it wasn't safe to come out. Um, I have been working through some really intense past lives and feeling um, just waves of support in my life have come through and creating divine feminine sister circle communities here in my life has helped me to come back and um, to heal my deep wounds and to be able to be on camera for my pleasure again. So I didn't push it and I, I really do believe and stand for with no pressure, just pleasure. And for me, my pleasure was to really go inward and heal and to refine myself as a mother. So things are great. I have a three-year-old, two and three quarters who's amazing and things are opening up again in Bali. We have life coming back in, tourists coming back in. We're leading a re retreat, it's coming up. Check it out, I'll put the link below. Thank you for joining me. Uh, it's in October and it's a Twin Flames Retreat Pray Love. It's my sixth one, my third one or fourth one with Jack. I think it'll be the, the fourth one with Jack. And um, it's how I met my Twin Flame. It's the step-by-step -step model. I came here to Bali and I unpack it and Jack and I do coaching and healing and we go to sacred sites and we do a self-marriage ceremony. We, we facilitate that for you and it's an incredible journey. So I'll put that below info about it and I'll put a coupon code as well. All right, gotta fly, much love, namaste, namaskoo.